Hello everybody, welcome back to Some Evolve. We're going to be playing as Hunter in this video again. Um, we're going to be playing as Battle Granny in this one. Uh, she was my favourite Hunter to play as in Stage 2, I will say. Um, which is a bit different, because obviously I do love Hyde as an assault bot. I put Hyde in all my games anyway, because I just find his lines to be absolutely hilarious. Um, he's just a treat to listen to, honestly. But yeah, uh, Lennox is a bit of a... She has a place in my heart, it has to be said, even though Lennox as a character herself is a bit of a shithead, um, as you'll probably notice by some of the lines once you hear them. Um, we'll do just the staple for um, Assault, we'll just go damage resistance in case we get focused. Again, privy to my previous videos, we're going to be exercising a little bit of caution with the monster AI, but I am going to try and switch this up. Uh, we will hunt a Wraith in this video. Um, the Wraith AI isn't actually that bad. Um, she sort of shows you, as you'll see as we go in the game, hopefully, as long as we can make it a, you know, a decent one. Um, but the monster AI just needed a bit more time in the oven, so to speak, because it knows how to use decoys, which is very strange because it will throw itself at you, but then it will also galaxy brain plays i mean i'm just a fucking ape anyway i see a monster i shoot a monster but yeah it's just it's very weird honestly how uh she can be quite decent to uh, go against but um yeah as i say i'm picking based on lore quotes here um just so we can get some fun uh dialogue out there's still dialogue i actually that's new to me this day, honestly. Um, there's that much fucking lore in this game. It's uh, it's, it's like, genuinely quite amazing. I think we'll roll with this team, honestly. And um, we'll get into it. We are going to be hunting this Wraith on Wraith Trap. So if you did play Stage 2, you'll be familiar with this map. This was the map that was changed probably the least out of all of the uh, Stage 2 renditions. Um, and yes, we've got a significant bit of a lore drop that I'll explain in a minute after we get we listen to this dialogue. So, how much am I worth? You asking about the bounty? I don't keep track of numbers and shit, man. Bullshit, you don't keep track. All right, ten million keys. Ten, ten million. Is that alive or dead? Bounty says shoot on sight, but I broke that rule a few days ago when you joined up. So I guess I'm uh, disqualified for failing to follow instructions. I was real dick about following instructions. Thanks. Thanks, man. It's Abe. Thanks, Abe. I'll take a moment just to explain that for you. Um, Abe is a bounty hunter, and Slim is... He's sort of illegal by existence. Um, so, obviously, she's gone this way. Um... Yeah, that's a decoy, I've just realised. Uh, she's actually looped around here, which is very strange. Uh, this is man eating eels as well, so we've got eels in the uh, the ground. Um, yeah, so Abe is a bounty hunter, and Slim is obviously one of his targets as a result of just being illegal by existence, because he's from the Mutagen Wars, which is something that uh, precedes the events of the game, which is the context on that. Uh, the lore drop I was talking about though previously is that Wraith there, I'm wasting a lot of time here, but if she gets to stage 2 it might be quite a decent game. That Wraith is actually the first Phantom Wraith. So if you don't know what the Phantom Wraith is, um, basically what that is, is it was Wraith's uh, mutation. So like you've got Meteor Goliath, you've got Elder Kraken. Uh, we were going to get Phantom Wraith. And the Phantom Wraith is particularly important because she is the one that basically sends the whole operation to shit. Um, she breaks out of there and starts teleporting to other worlds and planets. And obviously, as a result, uh, that has to be stopped. And it splits the hunters up and they can't deal with all the monsters whilst they are split up. And as a result, it causes the downfall of shit. And that's when the Cataclysm happens, which is the era that you saw briefly in Stage 2 with the Meteors. This is when Meteor Goliath... Uh, well, this is where Meteor Goliath originated from. Um, because that is him adapting and evolving passively to the Meteors hitting the planet. She was right here, I don't know where she's gone. She might be sneaking, actually. 
Christ over there. But yeah, I pretty much know the timelines and the lore off by art at this point, because I think it's fucking amazing and was just completely okay, wasted. It's me fucking. Yeah, there we go. She's probably not gonna be here now, but we're gonna be here. Uh... Oh, no, she's here. Nice. So I'm gonna try and chain these hits. That's the decoy, so I need to remember that. So we'll avoid you. Yeah, where is she? I legit can't see her. She's really small as uh, stage one. There she is. Does actually have some range to it. So Lennox's plasma lance works on basically you have to keep hitting. If you don't keep hitting, that little white bar counts down and you'll lose your charges. So at the minute I'm doing a lot of damage because I'm essentially doing four times as much. So what I've said in the previous hunter videos is we're going to hold back a little bit here uh, because I'll go for the revive actually and my bucket's coming. Um, just to give her a chance to get to stage 2. This is what I, why I don't do Hunter videos very frequently, because this happens. Um, so we are going to be waiting back quite a bit here. The main problem with this is that the monster AI doesn't appear to be programmed to fixate on one target, which is what you need to do as a monster. Uh, it will sporadically switch between targets, and when it does, it's losing a lot of its health and its momentum in a fight. So that's what's basically happening on screen at the minute. Um, it's not something I can fix, unfortunately, though, anyway, by, you know, the rules of the game or anything like that. So we're going to be hanging back a little bit here. It does actually give me time, though, to explain something. Um, we're going to be doing a bit of repeating in videos for those who um, are watching, but, you know, for the new viewers, I just want to get as many videos out there explaining this sort of thing um, and getting the points across, as obviously... The game is now died again, but you know, it's not to say we can't just try again, you know, try and get some, uh, there you go, she's getting to stage two, um, you know, try and get some tracks and generated once again, this is a tyrant, so this thing can actually pin you and kill you, but it is a good thing to kill, it wasn't the albino, so what I was going to explain is one of the main concerns with this game, um, and why people didn't particularly enjoy it too much was from the hunter perspective there's a lot of running around and not much happening uh, this is because what i believe is they severely underutilized she's actually sneaking there that's a crouched animation see the monster ai is there but it's as i say it's a bit half baked uh, i don't know where she is at the minute there she is we'll use this for a bit because it does a, a little bit less damage once things start getting a bit dire we'll start upping the tempo a bit I would like her to get to stage 3 cause, so I can show you her actual size because she's fucking huge at stage 3 and she looks amazing. Um, but yeah, they underutilised the um, the wildlife. With this being an alien planet, there was a lot of room for creativity. Oh, I missed that, I missed damage that. I don't know, I think I did actually a little bit of that. Um, yeah, so they could have had the uh, monster at uh, wildlife um, appearing here and there to uh, I will go for the revive here shit I'm in eel water let's book it again I really do want to get her to stage 3 so I can show them to you but this is what I'm saying you see the problem is is that it's a very thin line because if I turn it on to the hardest difficulty for hunters they can actually wipe the team of hunters as well because it boosts the damage too high then there she is so it's a very awkward balance, unfortunately. I have to sort of build a decent game around, you know... Her. I actually can't fight it, there we go. That's the decoy, so she's flashing. She's right here as well. Yeah, just to get a decent game out of it. But obviously when she gets to stage 3, there will actually be a fight on our hands here. It's just that if you go to deeply into damage then you have to sort of babysit the AI. It's just weird, it's a weird balance because sometimes she's good, oh, that's a decoy so that was actually a decent decoy. Um, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's in different areas, it's very patchy. It's just, it's weird. But yeah. 
but yeah, anyway, that's what I mean by if, if there was a wildlife attacking us, like, semi-constantly, it would provide that sort of, almost like Left 4 Dead gameplay, where we beat shit. It's the decoy again. See, she's spawning them in to keep us busy. Um, yeah. I just, I, I think the game would have been saved, honestly, on the front side of things, if they just have relied a bit more on the wildlife, or utilised the wildlife a little bit more. This might be over here. Oh, that's the <laughs> I dropped into a reduction there. Did manage to get the Thunder Strike off though. This is probably going to be over this one though. I need to get this Nomad out of the way because... She has gone for the right target. She's downed Abe. Trying to get them character interactions, he would have got revived there, but by Slim's uh, passive healing. It's just, it's a genuine joy for the ears just to hear the characters interact with each other as well, so I try to, there she is. I mean, look at how good that looks, man, the shading on her and everything. It's really good graphics for 2015 as well. It was so ahead of its time, this game. Don't know, where, is she actually there? We need to stop that because yeah. So Abe's actually got she's got two strikes on Abe, which means he can't be incapped anymore. It's basically the same as Left 4 Dead. You know where you get your black and white screen, and the next time you get incapped, you will actually die, and that's permanent. There's no way to do that. The only way you actually change that is if um, there's a med bay in play, which there isn't on this one. She's over there at the minute. We might be able to meet around here. There she is. We need to be careful doing this as well because something I've learned is that if you keep doing damage to her, she'll just keep running endlessly. She won't actually evolve. But as I say, this is why I don't do the Hunter gameplays usually because it is quite hard to record consistently. And I would like to show the game off still in its its best way, uh, the best way possible. But you can still have genuinely good Hunter games though, it has to be said. Just behind this, uh, this wall. But yeah, even like these mammoth birds, if you made them a bit more aggressive, that's actually the damage buff, which we're probably not going to need against the Wraith. It might help against stage 3 though. She gets there, so we will we'll get this. But yeah, even if you had some of these charging you. Um, I will put the mutator on in the next game, where it'll show you what I mean. Um, I'll announce it at the start of that video as well, so you, you recognise it. If um, you stick around for videos, obviously. Not in a hurry to dance with us again. But you'll, you will actually see the difference as well. I'm, what I'm talking about and why they really missed a trick with it. So then I'm really just I want her to evolve so I can show off her size and we'll get a, a really decent um, final fight because that stage three is actually quite healthy. They do fight quite well. That's the decoy I was about to say. I thought she was actually coming back there. Oh, shit. What could you have been, girl? Hey, hey, right. So we're actually going to stay here now, anyway, because we need to defend the relay. So you're in for a treat here because she's going to be fucking massive. You might be quite a surprise when she comes over this hill. Monsters are genuinely huge. There she is. I can see her from here. That's the decoy as well. Depending on which side she comes from, let's get rid of you. We're just going to wait for her to come over here now. I don't think she's over there. I think that's... Should we get an armor, I think, at the minute? Trying to see if I can hear her. Oh, 
Ooh, she's a fucking quiet one. But yeah, look at the size of this. This is amazing. Get a thunder strike on her. Nice. So yeah, we will play this now because we're going to have to. She's going to be doing a lot of damage. Yep, there's the down on Slim. I've still got my shield at the minute, so I'm not too scared at the moment. She is breaking me out of my power, though. Uh, the way you manage a Lennox as a monster is you keep hitting her, because it will remove her damage buffs. She's actually killed Abe, which is quite scary. I think we might... Oh, shit. I'm going to capitalise on that because she's frozen in place. We might be able to get her. Where's she gone there? I looked away for a second. She gets. Going for the relay, I think. Decoy in. I've not got me uh, Thunderstrike on yet. She's cloaked at the minute, so I can't actually see where she's gone. She was in this, this general area. She's got away, I think, though. Well, yeah, when you've got an actual person on the playing the monster and thing, I mean, some of you have seen this in stage two gameplays. How much fucking genuine fun it was to actually play. It's just been fucking ruined. Where's the fucking monster? Okay, healing field is charged up. Like the character design is just fucking peak, mate. Honestly, every character is distinguishable. They've all got their own separate personalities. The monsters have their own personalities as well, the way they all move. They've all got hundreds of animations each for how they move through the matches over there. It's such a fucking waste. Oh, I saw that little proc there. I'm going to shield up immediately because she's prioritising me. I need to leap. Don't know if I got that. She's being a bit of a schizo and it's working in her favour at the minute. We're actually losing at the moment, which is a bit scary. Oh shit. <laughs> we might lose this one. Fuck, I've just messed my uh, thingy up. My lance is out of range. Where is she? Zara. Nope, that's the decoy. There she is. We've got 31 seconds. I'm getting to the point where I think I need to be running. Oh no. No, I don't actually. I might be able to solo her. I just need to get over there. Just get me up, please. Do one of them. Uh, my boys. <laughs> oh... fucking cloaked. Oh no. <laughs> what <is> it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was on me. That was fucking embarrassing. Oh my god. <laughs> we pushed towards the challenge, I guess. Fucking hell. Right, so what happened there was that I wasn't I th I th the thing that cemented that was that I didn't use the auto cannon when I was jumping over to him when she was chasing Bucket towards the uh, the center. If I'd have got that little bit of chip damage in, I think I would have actually killed her with that thunder strike. <laughs> That's me just being too heavily fucking passionate about the game and just enjoying it for the experience rather than actually playing it. <laughs> But there it is anyway, as I say, I'm fucking posting it because it's a fucking good time, 15 minutes to die. <laughs> it was a very close one anyway, so yeah, we saw a, sta a stage 3 wraith, which is quite rare to be honest. Um, but yeah, there it is. I hope you have enjoyed, um, and I will see you on the next one, hopefully. Uh, yeah, bye.